Afternoon guys, here I am at La Baranda. Um, this is one with the glass walkway. I'll give you a quick show of it, but uh, this is not where I'm going today. We're going down the hill where not many people know there's a wine museum. So uh, let's have a quick look. Here's the glass walkway. Here we are, Casa del Vino. Um, let's go in and I'll show you around. Take you down into uh, the vine garden. Barbosa Blanco. Via Riego Blanco. Alvesia Volcanica and look at the lavender here I wish you could smell this it's beautiful it reminds me of a story I was walking once brushing lavender and I grabbed one off this somebody's garden and I brought it up to my nose to smell it. Only trouble was I didn't get the lavender. What I got was a bee. <laughs> there you go, Listan Blanco. I think that's quite a nice one actually, that one. I've had that before. They've also got a small banana plantation here. Look at this one, it's... Um weighted down and it's falling down. <laughs> These ones are ripe. Right, we're now inside the exhibition room. Um, there's uh, various displays. Uh, this one's about the agricultural home which was built in the 17th century, the Hacienda San Simon, and uh, is now obviously uh, Casa del Vino. This one is explaining the climate conditions around Tenerife and how ideal they are for winemaking. This one is um, explaining the soil conditions. And this one is explaining the types of grape that we have on Tenerife. This is explaining how the vines are laid in the various areas of Tenerife. Here we're talking about the life cycle. Vines were brought in the 15th century by Spanish and Portuguese. Here's the wine roots. The wines were mainly exported from the port of Garachico, but unfortunately, due to the volcanic eruption, that ended. Here it's showing you about the grape harvesting. The Canary Islands have won a lot of awards for their wines. the various wine regions and where I'm pointing is where I am today. The various wine making techniques. And here's the best bit tasting. This is the bit I like. Wines from the various regions, Takaronte. From the Oratava, Guimar, Abona. This particular one here is my favorite. Beautiful red wine. 
So now we're going into the estate workers exhibition room. Reminds you of an underground tunnel in the wall. Photographs on the wall. Oh, got a little living room here. Isn't there a glass on the table for me? Nope. Tenerife, Isla de Agrodiversidad. Look at those old scales. Las Cabras, the goats. Manzanas, apples. Nuances, nuts. Los Perlas, pears. Castañeros, chestnuts. Don't get them mixed up with conkers. Peppers here, look at these. There's one here called the Pimientola Madre, Pepper of the Mother. And it's once said that uh, once a child was naughty, the mother used to pop it in their mouths. <laughs> Percy Dalton's famous nuts, Tenerife. Look at the address, Commercial Road, London E1. The uh, potatoes. Sweet potato. And look at this old counter here. Just look at them scales. How many people remember them? In the uh, municipal uh, markets here in Tenerife, the uh, prices are all agreed upon, fixed um, at the outset. They're not allowed to deviate from it. Uh, unlike in our country. Here's a typical home in the Oratava. On a machine to grind cereals down. Got the teeth in there. So we also have a Bunny Visitors Centre here. So let's go in and have a look. Here we go. Casa de la Miel. Look at that on the honeycomb. The various hives that have been used. So these are the typical uh, hives that uh, obviously kept up on Tady. Filtration system. How it's processed. A video of exactly what goes off. Very interesting. Here's a view of the courtyard. I think I'll go into the shop, show you around there, and then I think I'll have a glass of wine myself. Here we are in the shop and the wine tasting area. Wines and honey.
It was said that uh, William Shakespeare loved uh, Canary and wines. In fact, as part of his salary, he used to get paid in a barrel of Canary and wine. <laughs> Here's my favourite again. A wine here named after Alexander Humboldt, which I did in the uh, Lost Miradors video. is that all right I've now got my wine I'm going to enjoy this I'll see you shortly well I just had to do a survey and I've got myself a Casa del Bino hat how's about that then so a glass of wine and a hat see you in the next one